A hard-working 161 not out from Johnny Bairstow put Yorkshire in the driving seat going into the fourth day of their match with Sussex at Arundel where the home side with all of their second innings wickets still intact will have to bat out much of the last day for the draw. Bairstow resumed on the third morning on 33 with Jack leaning on a career best 75 and the pair carried on where they'd left off without too much trouble from the Sussex attack. It wasn't the easiest pitch to bat on. It had the tendency to be a little sluggish, but the only real sniff the home side had of a wicket was when Bairstow survived an LBW appeal from Lewis Hatchett, which was a judge to be missing. There was a brief break for rain, but play resumed at midday and Bairstow was soon at his 50. He'd taken 108 balls to get there, but was looking to go on for considerably longer, having now got himself back in. He followed that moment up with a six off Hatchet to take the score to 249 for three at the end of the 100th over, earning a large first innings lead as important as the race for batting bonus points, it seemed. Yorkshire picked up their second batting point and the next thing they were after was Leaning's maiden first class 100. He'd got to 99 and with the field brought in, the 20-year-old decided to drive down the ground only for James Treadwell to pluck the ball out of the air to deny the batsman. You couldn't help but feel for the young man who'd been at the crease for five hours and had faced 257 balls for his 99. That brought an end to a 125 run partnership and the next wicket arrived only three overs later when Aaron Finch was trapped in front by fellow Australian Steve McGoffin. Finch left with a score on 267 for five. With a solid platform in place, Tim Bresnan was given licence to express himself and he took Treadwell on for a maximum. He and Bairstow took the score beyond 300 before the latter clipped Luke right through mid-wicket to secure his first 100 for 14 months and 15 innings. His celebration showed what it meant to the Yorkshireman and it capped off a pretty good game so far for him, having taken six catches in Sussex's first innings. Bresden was starting to enjoy himself now and he hit back-to-back -back fours off Hatchet to get Yorkshire up to 350 to give the visitors a lead of 34. The burly all-rounder got to his 50 with a cut-through point. It had been hard work taking him 140 balls and it included six fours and one maximum. It wasn't an easy pitch to bat on, but the bowlers had to work just as hard for their rewards as the batsmen. Treadwell came on loan to get overs under his belt in four-day cricket and by the end of this day, he'd bowled 59 overs in this innings, the most by any bowler in a first-class innings this season. He missed out on his second wicket, however, when Rory Hamilton-Brown dropped Bresden in the slips. Bairstow took the score past 400 with this six off the England spinner as the lead moved towards three figures. McGoffin has once again had a great season for Sussex and his success continued when he clipped the top of Bresden's off stump for his fourth wicket of the innings. That brought an end to a 138-run alliance, which had occupied 50 overs. After 157 overs of batting, Yorkshire were trying now to move things along and in doing so, Azim Rafiq didn't quite get enough of this shot to find John Lewis at deep mid-off to give Treadwell his third wicket. Bairstow passed the 150 mark and decided he'd now have a go too. He hammered Treadwell back over his head for a maximum to take him to 160. Yorkshire stayed out for just one more over before declaring on 467 for seven at the end of 173 overs. They had a lead of 154, which Sussex got down to 133 for the loss of no wickets after 10 overs by the close of play, although Chris Nash may count himself a little fortunate after just avoiding the slip cordon here. So Sussex may go into the last day with 10 wickets in hand, but they do have a job on their hands, especially as their captain and chief run scorer this year, Ed Joyce, can only bat at seven after missing the whole day in the field with a hamstring problem. It will be a fascinating last day with Yorkshire going for their fourth win to take them back to the top of the championship table while Sussex will fight it out for a draw.